1,333 hectares, of which the potential land area for agriculture is over 33,600 hectares or 41% of the total land area. The allocated general land use plan is 19,243 hectares. As you can see, the city lands are divided according to their existing and potential utilization. We have lands for agriculture, agroforestry, mineral extraction, product, productive and protective forests, and urbanization. The topography of Ligan is so diverse that most of the lands, with an estimate of 73%, are hilly to mountainous. Our major crops are coconuts, corn, and banana. The map in front of you indicates where these crops are grown and how much they are grown. The green areas are for coconut, yellow for corn, and orange for banana. We also have minor crops, which include abaca, coffee, vegetables, paddy rice, upland rice, mango, and cut flowers. We have three major programs in agriculture, the crop plantation and production program, the livelihood production program, and the fishery production program. for the crop plantation and production program. As of August 2022, we have already covered over 500 hectares of land for rice production benefiting almost 600 farmers. For corn production, we have covered almost 1,100 hectares of land benefiting more than 1,000 farmers. We're currently working on Project Silk, which is 50 hectare yellow corn development project within the local government of Ligan and Pilmico Foods Corporation. Hopefully this tie-up will improve our agriculture in the city. We have several high-value crops in Ligan and I'd like to share a few with you today. The first of which is abaca a material used for producing ropes, twines, fishing lines, and nets, and handicraft products such as handbags, shoes, slippers, and clothing. We have over 1,200 hectares of land for abaca taken care of by almost 70 farmers. Our programs for it include the Philippine Rural Development Project Abaca Fiber Processing and Marketing and the Abaca Nursery Establishment. The next high value crop we have is the banana. We have more than 2,800 hectares of land for growing bananas with over 2,700 farmers. We already have a proposed banana production processing and marketing program for it. Next is the cacao, for which we have 156 he hectares of land and 254 farmers. We have an we have an, an ongoing program for it called the cacao production rejuvenation plan. And then we have the coconut for which we have the coconut seed farm, demo farm, and abaca coconut intercropping as ongoing programs. The next high value crop is the co is coffee, for which we have over 900 hectares of land and over a thousand farmers. As an accomplishment, we already have the, co the coffee robusta community base development enterprise for which we received several interventions 
from the Department of Agriculture such as a howling truck, a coffee roasting machine, coffee grinding machine, seedlings, and many more. Other high-value crops that Ligan City offers are mangoes, mixed fruits, root crops, assorted vegetables, and mushrooms. For the challenges we're currently facing, majority of our production areas are still in the hinterlands, making it vulnerable to issues of distance, transportation, and travel. Nevertheless, we have been working on our farm-to-market roads to gradually reduce the problem. Once they are fully developed and maintained, they will increase the accessibility of the hinterlands and our production areas. On the other hand, we have several aspects that we find to be good opportunities for our agriculture, agricultural sector. First, we still have plenty of agriculture potential land areas. We just need to increase our capacity to fully utilize them through resources, equipment, and complementary knowledge. It's also good that our local farmers now have more knowledge and equipment when it comes to farming. Hopefully, they will be able to use this to boost their agricultural capacity and further improve the agriculture sector of Iligan. Finally, other opportunity is the support from the local government. Agriculture has always been one of my priorities as a public, as a public official. I believe we have not paid due attention to this sector for a long time in the Philippines, including Iligan. It's about time we change that. My administration will give the support that agriculture needs for it to be strong and thriving industry. By the way, I would like to inform the body that we are paying 11.22 to 11.90 pesos per kilowatt hours for our residential and commercial consumers, electricity consumers. In comparison to our neighboring provinces and municipalities, uh, where they're, they're paying 15 to 16 per kilowatt hour. We are second cheapest in Mindanao after Cotabato City. Uh, well, they are served by Aboitis, Colite, mostly ang source nila ikat sa pisang. So, ubos kita nila presyo. So, I should say that is one of the plus points of Iliga. That is one of the opportunity, the best opportunity for investors to come in. Hopefully, with the combined support of the local government, the Department of Agriculture, our local farmers and investors within and outside the country will be able to build a strong agriculture industry in Iliga. AgriFocus, yesterday, today, and beyond. Invest right, invest in Iligan. Thank you for listening, and good morning to everyone.